Hey everyone! Today I wanted to show you my new stereo setup. Uh, I have been on the hunt for a bargain price stereo for a while. I didn't want to go out and buy a cheap, generic, crappy stereo. And I certainly didn't want to go out and buy an expensive stereo. Because even on the second hand market, like, you know, stereos are like only a few years old. Um, they're still quite expensive, and um, a lot of the time you look at them and they're not that impressive. What I wanted was something really old school, something that looked mean, and um, I wanted a good brand. And um, I figured if I get something like from the 80s or 90s, I can probably get myself something that would have cost in the high hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, back in the day, for very little these days. And I got a better bargain than I thought, so... Let me show you my new stereo. So this is my new stereo. It is a Sony HCD551, and um, I think it was produced in 95, I think. I, I was looking up manuals and it had 95 on there, so I'm just going by that. And um, it is pretty awesome. So when I first got it, it wasn't exactly in great condition. Uh, it was really dirty and there's marks on the stereos and the cabinet was really basically dust everywhere that you can get dust. And um, yeah, I was just like, yeah, not in great condition, but it probably just needs a polish. But overall, this thing is really not in that bad a condition. Like, um, it does have like these marks here, which I can't get off, but for 50 bucks, you really can't complain. I mean, getting a, a quality sound system like this is um, pretty amazing. This thing just looks so freaking awesome. So here we are inside. This is the system itself. Not bad for 50 bucks. <laughs> it's um, actually pretty neat. Now, one thing that did um, surprise me was the fact that this is all one unit. It is not um, separate units like you see with a lot of higher end um, models. And I say that because I assume this is designed like this to look like the higher end um, stereos that come with separate um, modules that you just stack on top of each other because these uh, are made to look like that but it's all it's all just one it's basically like one big case with a um, fancy front on the on the front so as I said we couldn't get it to work and I ended up opening this up to find out why the tray wasn't coming out and why um, the tape wasn't working and I found that um, once I opened it up, um, there's actually not much in there. It's basically a hollow box on the inside um, behind this part here. The only part where there's actually like a lot there is down here with this big tray. The rest of it is just like maybe a couple of inches deep. That's what she said. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, it's actually pretty, um, there's actually a lot of wasted space on the inside. Maybe it's just cheaper to produce it like that than to design it any other way. So I went in there and um, I actually found that at some point somebody's obviously moved this with a CD inside and it's um, jumped up out of its place and gotten itself jammed. So nothing was working. I basically just took that CD out and boom, it was working fine. The tapes are not working though and that disappointed me a little bit, but I assume that um, they need new belts or something. I'm eventually going to get someone professional to have a look at this and see if they can sort it out. Because, um, yes, it is, it is still a really nice stereo. And surprise, surprise, it came with the original remote. And this thing is in really good condition, considering this is like, God, how old now? 25 years old? So yeah, let's start it up. Let's go with audio. Okay, so as you can see here, it currently says um, it's on CD, but um, you do have all the buttons there to change it to all the various things that this can do. And um, as you can see, the tape thing, it does power on, but it does not play tapes. Um, it just doesn't do anything. Well, it does. It tries to do something. What it's trying to do, I can't figure out, but the tape doesn't move and it doesn't play. So, yes. Anyway, let's open this thing up. So a pretty neat feature with this uh, five disc tray is you can hit the disc skip button three times and it will skip to that many discs. You hit it three times, it'll skip three discs. But if you hit it four times, it goes back. Um, not entirely sure what that feature is about, but I think it's pretty cool. 
So, um, I'm still getting used to exactly what all this stuff is. Like, um, yeah, I, I really don't know much about this stereo system. So all these buttons, I just randomly went through pushing them to see what they did. You ever do that? There's like lots of buttons in front of you, so you just start pushing everything <laughs> until you stuff up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I did. But I didn't stuff it up, so that was a surprise. I guess all these buttons are meant to be pushed. Except for the red button. But thankfully this does not have a red button. I honestly don't think I could have done better in terms of what I got. And check this out, this is actually pretty neat. You see this control knob here? Well, if, if you hit the volume button on the, um, the remote, it actually turns like that. That's, I thought that was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I am over the moon about this. Um, the radio does work. The radio bit is this up here, and, um, well, I think it's that bit anyway. But, um, there's no antenna plugged in. Um, I don't even know where to get an antenna these days. And um, this part here, I'm assuming, is like the amp part of it. But like I said, behind these three modules, there's really nothing there. There's like maybe a couple of inches worth of crap behind this panel here. And then it's just dead empty space. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really weird, but it's actually, it's a really nice sounding um, unit. So the speakers up here, they don't actually work yet, the three speakers on top, because um, the only reason I've been able to get the um, two big left and right speakers to work is because uh, the LaserDisc player that I recently bought came with cables that work with this one. That's the um, the colourful ones, red, yellow, red, red, white and yellow, something like that. Um, yeah, but the cables that came with that, um, they work with this. And uh, yeah, so I've got to track down more cables so I can run my laser disc player and then also have cables for this thing. Um, but yeah, I need to get some more cables so I can hook up the three little speakers. So, um, but the two big ones are more than powerful enough. You just can't have the surround sound. So, um, yeah. So let's put something on. Disc five, that'll do us. Play. Um, just track two. So that is my new stereo setup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm certainly over the moon with what I got. I never expected to get something this good. I honestly thought I would get myself just a stripped down stereo that you sit on a shelf, which I still would have been happy with, but I'm a lot happier with this like complete setup that I've got now. So yes. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here and I will talk to you next time. Ciao for now.